Well, hello once again. This is me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as usual from Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Tomorrow is Remembrance Sunday. This is the day after the 11th of November in each year, unless it falls on the same day, that we remember the fallen in all the wars that we've ever been involved in and we've been involved in a lot and actually we're right to be proud of many of the achievements of our armed forces that young men are prepared to go and fight and risk their lives is always amazing to me my father was killed during the second world war the damage it did to my family and me was horrendous I'm not suggesting it the first, the, the Second World War wasn't necessary. We had to stop Hitler. But what caused Hitler? What brought Hitler to the surface? Probably the events of the First World War. And if you think about it, the wars before that. It's not always been a bed of roses. The British were the first to invent the concentration camp. Yes. Many thousands died there cholera and disease in South Africa during the Boer War. In the 19th century we had the Opium Wars when Britain forced the Chinese to accept opium even though they didn't want it and it was illegal in China we went to war to make them have it. We forced them and at one point a doctor in Canton, a British doctor, reckoned there were 12 million Chinese hooked on opium largely because of our activities. Now, I've heard it said that the greatest sin is the desire to be right. Because once the desire to be right takes hold of somebody, they will fight tooth and nail and to the death, which often happens, to uh, prove that they're right. And um, this has led us into numerous wars, like the Falklands, for example. Mrs. Thatcher stamped her foot and said, they're ours, we're having it. And yet, before the Falklands War in the 60s and 70s, the government had come to the conclusion that we couldn't afford to keep the place and we were quietly trying to give it back to them. That's all hushed up now. But are we going to go on forever and ever keeping troops, practically at the South Pole, because that's where the place is? I'm playing devil's advocate to a large extent at the moment, but I do sincerely believe that we should not go on with this running saw between Argentine, uh, 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 between the Argentine and ourselves. Uh, and um, I'm sure the people of Argentina and the people of Britain would be a lot happier if we didn't have this problem. Why not sit down with the Argentinian government and argue along these lines? We put a big investment into the Falkland Islands. We've made mistakes. We've all made mistakes. The war itself was probably a mistake and unnecessary. And we don't want it to happen again in the future. But we've reached a stage in our economy where we're having to cut benefits to people. And we're putting the cost of higher education up to £9,000 a year. And we can't really afford to keep troops thousands upon thousands of miles away, almost in Antarctica. So how about this? We'll say to the people of the Falkland Islands, if you wish to remain and be, be, uh, come under the uh, government of Argentina, then so uh, uh, good luck. But if you, in, if you prefer to come home to England, we will give you a piece of land equivalent to what you had in the Falklands and a house and a home if you, were, if you had one in the Falkland Islands so that you will not lose. We will then say to the Argentinian government, there may possibly be oil in this area, we're not sure. But if any oil is found, whether by you or by us, we will share it and the proportions can be worked out between the diplomats. 
and hopefully and God willing we can sail away from the Falklands in good grace and feel happy about it uh, and I'm convinced that it would be good for everybody and certainly many people around the globe would look to Britain as an example because that is far better than forever and ever and ever crowing about the rights of the British to rule Little Rock in the middle of nowhere and costing us an arm and a leg. See what I mean about the um, desire to be right? This is what happens when people get on their high horse and Mrs. Hammond, Mrs. Uh, um, Thatcher was often getting on our high horse and she got on our high horse over the poll tax and in the end police had to get on their high horses to stop the riots over the poll tax so the same woman caused riots over the poll tax and the war over the Falklands Rock well I'm sure a lot of you want to throw bricks at me I don't mind because in the long run peace is far better than war I'm sure many, most of you agree if you think about it. Let's let bygones be bygones. Let the Falkland Islands return to that part of the world and we can save an awful lot of money and a lot of pain and a lot of suffering and a lot of riding round on high horses, a lot of trumpet blowing, a lot of expenditure. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care. Goodbye.